Imagine if I say ChatGPT build those two screen for me. Some of you might believe it while others might be skeptical. Let me show you how it's done and put your mind at ease. To get started, a Flutter project is required. You have the option to create a new project and add the necessary assets or download the starting project from GitHub. That include an assets directory with image icon and logo. If you run the app, it will display a blank screen with the text the Flutter web center on it. Leap directory create a folder called screen, splash, then splash screen dot dirt, then paste the code here. Place back to the main dirt dirt file and replace the existing code with a splash screen. After doing so, you may notice that the layout doesn't look as expected. This is what we wanted. Here it missing the gradient and spacer after the logo. Let's back to the chat GPT and see if it can fix the problem. I'm gonna write, the gradient is not showing and add a spacer after the logo. It seems it's able to solve the problem. Let's copy the code. Back to our project, back to the splash screen and replace the existing code with updated one. Amazing! The updated code worked perfectly. As you can see, this is what we wanted and exactly get that. How to further improve it? Now we can improve the code in two ways. One is asking ChatGPT to make improvements and the other is by doing it ourselves. In my experience, it is better to make those small refactoring changes ourselves as it can make significant difference. Let's start by addressing those blue lines. If you hover over them, it suggests adding the keyword cons to improve performance. On quick fix, it's better to select add const however it will record in the file. After adding the const keyword, all blue lines should be disappeared. Except for one that says our splash screen should have the key parameter. We can use the quick fix option to solve this problem as well. Next, let's scroll to the button in our code. It may use material button, although ChatGPT may generate a different type of button for you. However, the concern is that we need this button in many places such as sign in, sign up, product page. And it is not efficient to hard code style each time. To solve this issue, we'll add an elevated button theme to our theme data. Let's define the button style and copy the color, shape, elevation from material button. Also set the minimum size of the button where the height is 48 and width is infinite. Once we have defined the style, we can replace the material button with an elevated button. This is much more efficient than hard coding the button style each time. We have completed the splash screen section. In the next one, I'll demonstrate you how to build a login, sign up and forget password script. See you on the next one.